And lastly, there's a lot of work happening around Wonder Mountain. Some of the buildings in our Alpen area have been removed, Tiny Tom's is getting a new location, so this area is going to look a lot different when you get back. Stay tuned in early April for a special announcement about some of this construction. We think you're going to like it. Alrighty, so in today's video, I'm going to rank the most likely coasters that are going to probably be coming to Canada's Wonderland in 2025 and which ones I think are the most likely in order from least likely to most likely. So starting it right off um, at number five, we have the Zamperla Factory Coaster, otherwise known as the Multidimensional Coaster. Um, I do, I'm not even going to begin to pronounce the, the park that this is at. Um, but yeah, this is an indoor, fully immersive, 4D, multi-dimensional coaster. Um, and I put this on the list just be in case, okay? So if we were to assume that this coaster wasn't going to utilize anything outside the mountain, this would be a likely option. But as we see signs progress to outside the mountain, this is why I put this at the least likely on my most likely to come to Canada's Wonderland edition. So as cool of a coaster as this would be, and as much of an upgrade as this would be to um, Mount Wonder Mountain's Guardian, I don't think this is actually likely at all. And uh, further, I would probably rule this out at this point as construction heads to the Elpin area of the park. Coming in at my number four, um, on the more side of the least likely options is a launched wing coaster. Um, so for those of you that remember, Wonderland put out a survey um, surveying guests about a launched wing coaster. And to be honest, this seemed like a very probable case um, in terms of Wonderland moving forward with it. But as we see the tunnels being constructed, a lot of them 4.5, 5 meters and um, 4.83 meters in width it's looking a lot less likely that this is going to be a wing coaster. I've been hearing through the rumor mill that there was a budget change to our 2025 project, which we're actually seeing before our eyes, and that plans shifted. Um, so I definitely am at the point where I personally don't think this is a likely option, but I wanna remind you as the viewers, we shouldn't rule out anything B&M because Wonderland does love working with B&M and a launched wing coaster would be something that would ultimately impress the guests at Wonderland. So as much as I'm ready to rule this out, um, I wouldn't fully hop on my bandwagon of ruling out this coaster model just quite yet. Um, but yes, I think Amusement Insiders is ready to rule out the wing coaster based off of what we're seeing on the construction site. Um, coming in at number three, so a likely option, can't fully rule it out yet. Um, getting close to ruling out this option is a launched invert. So I know the one I'm showing you on the screen isn't a launched invert, um, but this is Bulger and Mabillard. And um, I definitely think that a launched invert would do wonders at a park like Canada's Wonderland. And it would be really cool, especially in the Alpen themed area. Um, I just personally don't think that it is as likely as a lot of people are hoping for. Um, and it would take up a lot more space than some of our smaller scale yet big layout rides that I'm about to present. Um, so unfortunately, I don't think Canada's Wonderland is quite ready to introduce a launched B&M invert quite yet to the park's lineup. Um, but who knows, maybe I'll be wrong. And uh, that's what Wonderland will be teasing. So coming in at number two, uh, a very likely option um, is the mock striker model. So this is a park, um, sorry, a coaster model that would 100% work using the space that is given in the Elpen area. And it would look really cool, especially coming out of the mountain. So this is one of those models that I am 100% um, eyeing in terms of a potential candidate for the construction plot of land. My only downside, which um, the reason I'm gonna vote number one as the most likely, which will go over number one, comes down to Winterfest rides. Now I know Mock actually does have the option to be a colder climate ride. Um, so I could be eating my words here, but I know Zamperla has a specific sale feature um, that was being tested on Top Thrill 2 which is making me lean a lot more closer towards Zamperla. Um, as cool though, this is definitely um, something that I would have, I would love to see at Canada's Wonderland, and I wouldn't be disappointed if they went 
for this. Um, now, again, on that topic of Winterfest Ride, uh, you have Vacoma, Mock, and Zamperla. So I'm not going to show Vacoma here, but in terms of my most likely rides to come to Canada's Wonderland at this point, um, it is either going to be a Mock, a Vacoma, or a Zamperla. Though that's my personal um, opinion on this matter. And the reason for that is BNM actually has a standard where they cannot operate in below zero degrees Celsius weather. Sometimes it's actually below three degrees Celsius weather. Um, but from what I understand, BNMs do not operate below zero degrees Celsius weather. But these other manufacturers like Zamperla, um, Intamin, Vacoma, and Mach can operate in colder climates. So I think that's why Wonderland might have done a change of plans. Again, we had a very warm winter fest this year, so Wonderland could have been running um, some of their rides, and I think they're eyeing some of these colder climate rides. So on that topic, my most likely option that Canada's Wonderland is going to move forward with is a Zamperla launch coaster, more specifically the Lightning model. So I think Wonderland is eyeing those Lightning trains. Again, I'm not showing a Zamperla coaster on the screen because there isn't one technically built yet um, that I could show you that is their project. So Wonderland would be showcasing what Zamperla is really capable of um, on a, a blueprint paper from scratch of their lightning model coaster. So that's another exciting thing. I would love to see what Zamperla can do with um, from scratch design. And um, a little more information to provide to you guys, over at Winter Chillout this year, uh, Tony Clark was discussing that Zamperla was highly interested in testing Top Thrill 2 in 20 degree Fahrenheit weather and snow. So Zamperla has commented in an interview um, also, that the Antonio, the CEO of Zamperla, actually rode Top Thrill 2 in the snow, and he said it was a very comfortable ride, a cold but comfortable, and it ran beautifully, zero problems. And Tony did confirm this at Winter Chill Out that they specifically tested Top Thrill 2 in 20 degree Fahrenheit weather and snow, and to me, that points to several um, kind of hints that. You know, it potentially could. Again, it could be a reach, what I'm suggesting right now. But they were specifically testing it for a colder climate because a park like Canada's Wonderland might be getting a Zamperla launch coaster. Um, on top of that, you go back to the El Toro Ryan rumor of Cedar Fair checking out Velocicoaster. Again, a lot of us jumped to Intamin. But if you think about it, there were no Zamperla coasters of the Lightning model that they could have gone and checked out at the time. So they're probably going to check out a competitor um, a similar design that Zamperla could provide and checking out that kind of how it operates and the specs and all that over at VelociCoaster for a park like Canada's Wonderland. So again, my final prediction, not my official prediction, my most likely candidate coming to Canada's Wonderland is going to have to go with a Zamperla Lightning Model Launch Coaster. All right. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it um, and stay tuned for our construction update. Have a good one, guys. Bye.